Well, it all happens on September 13th. We get underway at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific. You can see it all on Showtime Pay-Per-View. We come now to our second fight of the evening, also in the 168-pound division. Badu Jack looks to get back to contender status as he takes on Jason Escalera. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, Showbox. Our co-main event making his way to the ring. Make some noise for Jason Escalera. Jason Escalera comes into this bout a confident fighter. He's fighting for the third time in six weeks since coming back from a 19-month layoff. His first comeback fight, not so good. He couldn't really shake off the ring rust, and he lost the split decision. But since that time, he's bounced back with two wins in a row, and not just wins, but wins against previously unbeaten opponents. Escalera's strong, he's aggressive. He feels it's to his advantage that Jack prefers to be a counterpuncher. Escalera wants to jump him early. His thinking, if we hit him one time, we might rewind his head back to his last fight when he was stopped in the very first round. Steve? Take us behind the numbers. For Jason Escalera, very mini role. In April, Escalera came back from that layoff you talked about, and he lost to a sub-500 fighter. Since then, he's beaten two undefeated European fighters who were both hot prospects. Trying again, Escalera's faced one world-class opponent. That was Edwin Rodriguez, who stopped Escalera in the eighth round. This could be Escalera's last chance to prove he can compete at the top level. And keep the gloves on. As Barry said, this will be Escalera's third fight in six weeks, considering that both of his two previous fights went the distance. That's a very ambitious schedule. And now, ladies and gentlemen, representing the money team, making his way to the ring. Make some noise for Badu Jack the Ring! Badu Jack of Gambian and Swedish descent. He appeared in the 2008 Olympics, in fact, was the flag bearer in the opening ceremonies for his native Gambia. He's an aggressive boxer, an excellent body puncher. Tonight, however, is the most important night of his career. And the reason is he was a step away from a title elimination fight when he stepped into the ring for a tune-up, in quotes, fight with journeyman Derek Edwards. But guess what? A lazy jab from Jack resulted in a crashing overhead right from Edwards, and the fight was stopped. After just 61 seconds, Jack was unable to continue. It stunned him, it came early, and it was enough to put an end to the night's activities. Lazy jab, right hand, goodbye. Which is exactly what Jack's leg said to him. So it's going to be incumbent on Jack this evening to prove that that last fight was nothing more than an aberration. He needs to prove it to both the boxing public and maybe even more importantly, to himself. Steve? Well, Barry, I'm going to take you behind three numbers here. 61, that's how many seconds Jack's last fight lasted. Zero, that's how many losses he had before facing Edwards. And six, it's been six months since he suffered that loss. Better resume. Jack's fought tougher opposition than Escalera. And Jack's a 10-round fighter. Escalera's been only eight, so advantage Badu. And home game. Jack's used to fighting here in Vegas. He lives and trains here. Escalera, on the other hand, has fought all his bouts but one on the East Coast. All right, so it's Badu Jack and Jason Escalera in our second fight of the evening here at the Palms. For the introduction of the fighters, once more, we take it to the center of the ring and the ring announcer for tonight's festivities, Joe Martinez. Well, fine fans, we are set to go with our co-feature battle of the evening. Ten rounds this scheduled in the super middleweight division. Presented by Mayweather Promotions and Showtime with our sponsor, Corona Extra, La Cerveza Más Fina. The three judges scoring this bout at ringside on the 10-point must system. Robert Hoyle, Ricardo Ocasio, and Jerry Rob. When the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jay Nady. And now here we go, fine fans, introducing to you first, finding out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks, he weighed it officially 169 and one quarter pounds. His professional record in 18 bouts, 15 victories, just two defeats, one draw with 12 big wins coming by way of knockout, hailing from Union City, New Jersey. Here is Jason Monstro Escalera. 
And across the ring, his opponent stands fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing silver with black, he weighed in 169 and one half pounds. 18 bouts and his record stands at 16 victories. One defeat, one draw with 11 big knockout wins. Originally from Stockholm, Sweden, and now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here is Bardo Jack the Ripper! Any questions? I want to touch gloves. Let's go to work. Ten rounds. Good luck. And we take a look at the numbers for these two. Jack wants to catch Escalera coming in, and that four and a half inch reach advantage could help him do just that. Escalera, he'd like to invade Jack's personal space by getting close and staying close. And again, the Nevada rules here, no standing eight, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. You can't be saved by the bell in any round. And the accidental foul rule before the end of four, it's a no decision. After the end of four, we go to the car's barrier. Badu Jack said you're gonna see a different Badu Jack. And we will see. Escalera, on the other hand, he said he wants to jump from early. Well, I did notice Badu Jack, he was very focused the meetings. I mean, we're trying to ask him about the future. He said, look, I'm not looking past Escalera. So he just focused on Escalera. Escalera, as we said, a very busy fighter. This is his third fight in just a six-week period. Did not do a lot of sparring in preparation for this fight because he had fought so much, they figured he was already sharp. And amateur experience, Badu Jack was an Olympian for Gambia, the first fighter ever from that country in the Olympics, where Escalera had only 25 amateur fights. He did fight in the Nationals once. And pro experience, very, very similar for these two fighters. Good left hand, stuck in there by Badu Jack. I think the first three or four rounds are going to be a very important to observe on, on Badu Jack. You know, he's already a safety fate first kind of fighter, but let, let's see if he's going to be like just the extra cautious. And if he is, you know, that means he's gun shot. He's, he's scared to get hit. So far, a lot of movement by Badu. Keeping his hands up. And most importantly, when he throws that left jab, yeah. he brings it back high. You got to bring it back right away and bring it back high. Spider Jack not doing a lot here in this first round. Yeah, there's a tentative start. I think he wants to get out of the first round for obvious reasons. Because he's not letting Escalera do very much either. Overhand right from Badu Jack, and another lands on the top of the head. You know, Jack's a very good body puncher. I wouldn't be surprised if he settles to the inside in this fight because he's not going to have to worry about one right hand hurting him. Right now, it's a lot of movement. And he wants to get past the first round. That's pretty clear. Yeah. Hold him, don't hold him. Cut my punch. Oh, he's already passed the length of the last fight. And he, go ahead, Raul. Yeah, it's how, it's Scalero really not using his jab. He's just winging it. You know, look at him. Looking for one shot. Seems like it. There he goes again. One shot. One single shot by Scalera. Double jab and another right hand from Jack. It was a little short, but he did get there with an uppercut. All right, we talked to both guys about what they need to do to win. Here's what Badu Jack said, first of all. Yeah, I'm not going to let him get too close. And if he comes too close, then I'm going to rip the body. But I'm going to try to, you know, use my height, my boxing skills, and, you know, my, my brain more. They say that he works a lot on his jab. Um, I've been working on my right, right hand over his jabs, 
So if um, mistakes happen, like his last fight, um, there's a chance that it could be an early knockout. Well, the first round, relatively uneventful. Which is probably just what Badu Jack wanted. Right? I would think. Round two of this 10 round fight. Jack's showing an awful lot of movement, more than I'm used to seeing from yeah. him. Yes. Uh, Escalera trying to uh, press him, but because of the movement from Body Jack, not able to do it with any consistency. And in round one, uh, this is a running total. You see that Jack has a big edge. Neither guy particularly busy. No blow. Maruchak said that he feels like Escalera's style is made for him. And and, and it is, because Escalera's just coming straight forward. Maruchak is a, a counter puncher. He likes to sit there and wait. But, I mean, Escalera's giving him everything. He's swinging wild. He's coming straight forward in. No head movement. But Maru doesn't throw no punch. He's not throwing. Stay sharp, Maru. Stay sharp. Well, I guess ideally, from Jack's perspective, it would be good if, as the fight progresses, he gets a little looser and a little looser and a little more free with his hands. And we're not going to see it all right now. I mean, it's a, it, you know, it's an important fight for Badu. I mean, he's got a lot of pressure, too, coming off that knockout loss. So, let's see how the fight develops. But he needs to stay a little bit more busy. Yeah. And let's not forget when Badu Jack fought uh, Corky Medina, who we'll see in our main event. It was a pretty close fight for about yeah. four rounds, and then then, yes. then uh, Badu took over. So he's not always the fastest starter. There might be a little cut along the eye of Escalera. I don't believe it's a big problem right now. Escalera double right hand there. Jack content just to stick out a jab every now and then, but not doing a lot of business for sure with that right hand. Well, he's a little faster, he's a little technically superior, and he's got the longer reach, so. I can't blame him for fighting this way. I mean, that'd be the most exciting style right now, but we're only in round two. I like the way he's keeping his hands up. Baru Jack being very cautious with that. And he did, Frame defense, you know. Did, did catch Escalera as Escalera stepped back. You're right, Barry, about the blood. It looks like it's on the inner part of the, the eye, near the nose. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Escalera is definitely bleeding. Good job, Jay. Hands up, Your hands up. Escalera is a little busier in this round, but not real effective. With the water. Easy work, man. Easy work, man. Just keep the jam going. You can double and triple it up all day. Straighten them out. Turn the left hook. That's all you got to do. How you feel? Good. All right. Let's start turning some combinations. Finish you with my left hook. All right. Jab, jab, hook it. Turn the hook right to the jaw. And yeah. keep the double yeah, jab going. Jake, keep your hands up. Around. Keep your hands up, keep the pressure on, working those jabs to the body, those wraps to the body. Inside, you got those short shots, baby. You got those short shots, all right? Hey, Phil. Carl, good. Let's keep it up, baby, let's keep it up. This is round three of this 10-round fight. Eddie Mustafa Mohammed likes double jab and then a hook. And we should point out that uh, Badu Jack in his corner has not only the former light heavyweight champion Eddie Mustafa Muhammad working for him, but also the Bronx's Lou Del Val, yes, another yeah. former light heavyweight champion. Said he's working on him with the mitts. Well, they said that they started together, huh? He started with uh, Del Val in uh, Florida. And, uh, there's some body work by Badu. We have not seen much of that. 
Hey, Mustafa wants to see Jeb Jeb Hook from Badu Jack. Left hand up high, buddy. There you go. Don't get lazy. Short right hand just missed. There's a good jab from Jack. Yeah, it was a nice double jab. And trainers were always calling for two jabs. How many fighters ever throw two jabs That's at a true. time? Very few. Now he's changing up the jab. Up and down jab. There he is. Comes up with, with a hook instead of a jab. Nice left hand in the body there by his Solero. Right hand at the top of the head from Badu Jack. Nice defense there with Badu. Head movement. Jack is doing a very good job of keeping this fight at the distance he wants it. Coming up pretty good defensively, too, when Escalera does get inside. There has been a little more infighting this round than in the previous rounds, and Escalera seems to enjoy it. Yeah, he wants him to come, though. But Jack is a good inside fighter, too. Yeah, he's got those body shots. That's really always been his strength, the jabs and the body shots. Let him out, let him out, please. Step back, please. Step back. Now we box. Stay sharp. Right there, right there. Keep that left hand up. There you go. I know maybe it's possible that Escalera is a little flat coming off all those fights in such a short period. You know, he looks a little slow to me. And not very strong. Yeah, well, that does make you sluggish, you know. If you get ready for a fight, then it falls out, then you get back in the gym. You don't know what's going to happen. You got another fight lined up. It's not the same. Yeah, three fights in six weeks is a lot. Uh, yes. And, 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 you know, it's not that much when you're fighting four rounders and you're knocking people out in one round, but that's not the case. He went the distance in his previous two fights. Good left hand of the body by Escalera at the end of the round, but too little too late. You take a look at action from round three. It's a sweeping right hand there, and you see that Escalera was most definitely hurt by that punch. Take a look again, and watch Escalera's reaction to this right hand. It's almost a right hook. Yeah, he lost yeah. his legs there for a yes. split second. Huh? Came back strong, though. Bang into the body. Another round for Jack, though. And there's a look at Floyd Mayweather doing a little advertising. The money team. I asked him to uh, help me out with a 20, and he told me I don't carry <laughs> anything that small. I know, I know, yeah. What that you was your say? mistake. I know. <laughs> so we're set to go round four of this 10-round fight, and uh, Badu Jack. I don't know that I would go quite to the extent of saying dominating, but yeah. winning every round at least. Well, the show stats in round three say a lot. Escalera 11 for 72. That's a pretty low percentage. I've never thought of Jack as being a particularly outstanding defensive fighter. But tonight he's not getting hit much, that's for sure. I think your point's well taken about Escalera. Three fights in a short period of time. And remember, it comes on the heels of not having a fight. That was a good shot, and that got Escalera's attention. And he retreats into the corner. Bottle Jack had him hurt there, but very careful, taking his time. He didn't want to run into a wild shot from Escalera here, because he does throw that wild overhand right. Missing big with a left hook, Escalera. Starting to say three fights in six weeks following a 19-month layoff. Right, it's kind of a weird schedule. I like said during that 19 months, he was in the gym. He just couldn't get a fight. Fights kept falling out on him. Escalera, by the way, we have to pay tribute. He is the nephew of Alfredo Escalera, yes, the great 130-pound yes, yes. champion from Puerto Rico. Who fought uh, Alexis Arguello, right? Oh, bloody fight. Yeah, two, great two of them. Yes. Yeah. He's never met his uncle. <laughs> wow. No, no, I, I just get the impression it's a subtle thing here, but I get the impression Escalera is a little discouraged. He has that long, fast... Crispy Jack, Chris Jack, real accurate of Fadu Jack. He tags him all the time and he changes it up to the body, changes it up to the hook there. 
Jack just seems also to be just getting off first. Yeah, he does. First, more often, sharper. Yeah, they, they were shot by Escalera. They're, they're way, you're, you're telegraphing it, you know. Bobby Jack's going to see all them shots. Oh, oh he got a good right hand right there. Sure was. It was straight and it was thrown pretty close to Badu Jack. Badu keeps turning him, using his angles, popping him with the jab. You don't want to stay in front of Escalera too much. Leaping left hand from Escalera. Hard to generate any power. Oh, way down here. Floyd Patterson style. Yeah. Hey, it could have done some damage if we would have caught him, but. We always talk about punching technique. Some of the best knockouts in history were thrown were punches thrown without technique at all. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we overrate that, I think, as, as analysts. I think of Mike Tyson against Carl and Truth Williams, a one-round knockout. Yeah. That left hook was from uh, North Bergen. What about Roy Jones from behind? Did you see that knockout? <laughs> behind his back? Oh. Well, still to come, our main event of the evening, Jillian Love against Porky Medina. Jillian Love, another guy. Could be just one shot, as Floyd Mayweather mentioned to Steve Farhood. Could be one shot away from a title shot, but I think he needs to show something. Yeah, uh, create some demand for that title fight. He's fought pretty reasonable opposition. Gabe Rosado, Marco Paraban. But uh, Anthony Durrell is the name that I would think would be the most likely target for love. We're going to talk it sometime in 2015, I'm sure. No, not before then. Get that. Hey, sorry, Badu. So round five of this 10-round fight as we head toward the midway point. Jack has pretty much dominated things, just having these mostly his own way. I agree. I got him up uh, 40 to 36. Got him winning uh, every round. He's picking up the pace as the rounds go. His pound shot uh, output, it seems like. Jack averaging 33 jabs around, which is a good thing. Which I think has been the key is jab. Up and down jab. Well, at least he's, he's probably answered some questions that he might have had about himself. Yeah, that's really the most important thing. Nobody says you have to come back and be yourself again in one fight. Right. As Raul mentioned at the top, sometimes it can take a few fights. That's a good right hand from Jack. He does have a good jab. Escalera's just too, too far away. He's not getting that enough leverage, enough power. And his punch, he's got to get a little bit closer. How's he going to get there with the jab? He's not jabbing in. Single punch, he's going to land one shot from a ball away. That's not going to do it. Because Maru Jack's going to be there to counter with his speed and power. Too fast for him. Jack just stick his tongue out, I believe he did. Yeah, I think he did. I'd say that's a sign that he's feeling pretty good about Confident. himself. Confident. <laughs> I'll tell you though, if this fight had taken place before the Edwards knockout, I think Jack would be far more aggressive. I do too. And looking to hurt his opponent, not just Jeb. Although he's got to be at that point now where he feels he's taking Escalera's best. I think he'll pick it up. He'll pick it up in the next couple of rounds and look for a knockout. Well, to your point, Barry, I think he sees everything Escalera throws. Yeah, because they're not the straightest punches. Now the blood starts inside the right eye. It looks looks like could be on the bridge of the nose. Really fast combinations there by Jack. It's a steady jab on Escalera's face. Got to be frustrating. And the key moment there, Escalera backed Jack up with about three hooks, backed him all the way to the ropes, 
Jack just escaped to the left. Start all over again. That's what he wants. That's good ring generalship. So just more of same from Badu Jack. He's just kind of controlling things and winning every round. Here's the numbers. Yeah, the jabs, uh, a lot of jabs thrown by both guys. And the uh, percentage of power shots, 66% for Jack. That's why he's up five rounds to zero. A little disappointing in the body punch connects for Jack. It's always been his strength and he only has 10 of them so far, but clearly Jack ahead. And we take a look at round two. You see already there's a cut there. The bridge of the nose, as Barry pointed out. And the right hand there, later in the fight, kind of rocks Escalera. That's been Jack's best moment. Haven't been too many moments for Escalera yet. And in round four, that's a nice combination because it's a jab followed by a hook, exactly what Eddie Mustafa Muhammad was calling for earlier in the fight. Jack, a, a quick-handed fighter. Round six. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad a little bit slow to leave the ring, but with a good excuse. Yes, <laughs> yes, and hip replacement. Yeah, glad he's doing well. Well, I don't know about adjustments for Escalera. I don't know if he's capable, stop, but... Stop. That was way down Box. Well, I think the only thing, Steve, that Escalera could do is uh, apply more pressure and cut off the ring. He's not doing anything. He's just following him too straight forward, and he's not jabbing in. Maybe shorten up his punches a little bit more. But I think I just said, uh, you know, the skill level of Bottle Jacket, big difference. Here in this fight tonight. I want to talk about all that amateur experience that Bobby Jack uh -huh. had. I promise you one thing win or lose, Escalera won't be fighting in two more weeks. That's <laughs> a low blow there. That's a serious warning. Don't do that anymore. Way down here. Box. Second warning from J80. Call that a serious one. Yes. I don't know if that means we get a point deduction next. That, that would be my guess. Well, that, that left hook that Escalera landed, I'm not sure if it was low or not, because it was on the opposite side of Navy and me. Oh, nice oh, uppercut. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Changing it up. Used to do that more. You can see Bowder Jack's getting a little braver here. As he should. Yeah. Now, I think he, right now he could be t thinking about closing the deal. Yeah, because Escalera is right in front of him. Now, Escalera's gloves are up, but very little side-to-side -side movement. And Raul said very little head movement is right. So I think this is not the hardest target to hit. Bobby Jack needs to keep using that jab and take a little step back and catch him coming in with an uppercut. With a right uppercut. Good body shot. Right you turn, you turn. <laughs> he turned, yeah, yeah, he did. And Jack does it again. Yeah, good double left hand with the body. See, that's a good thing when a fighter complains and the referee says, okay, you just do it again. <laughs> that's with his head. Jack Manny having his most effective round of the fight here. Yeah, I think uh, round by round, he's getting a little more aggressive. But he still wants this to be more of a boxing match. Yeah. Saturday, September 13th, Floyd Mayweather and Marcos Maidana meet in an explosive rematch, and here's your chance to witness all the mayhem. Showtime will fly you and the guests to Las Vegas, where a limo will usher you to the fabulous MGM Grand for a two-night stay. You'll get VIP seating at Friday's official weigh-in, $500 for food and beverages, $250 in spa credits, and two great tickets for the big event. Just go to MayhemSuites.com to enter now for your chance to be at Mayweather versus Maidana 2, Saturday, September 13th.
Put your punches together. Yeah, double the hookup. You flew one to the bike nicely, you go back to the head. Come on. Action from round six. Let's see. Let's grade Jay Nady here. Are these punches low from Escalera? Well, he said that one was on the Whoa, hip. Oh, daddy. No, no, no. Back, back, back. That's low. That is definitely low. Okay. This is round seven. Bado just hitting him with anything and everything. And I'll tell you what, this is, a, this is up to Badu Jack. Does he want to just keep working the next three rounds and, you know, set up for the 10-round decision, good work. Got the kicks out, you know, first fight back. Or you want to stop this guy? I think you stop him, too. That's, that's an interesting yeah. question because from our perspective, of course, we want to see Jack be more aggressive. But I'm not so sure it's necessarily the best thing for his career. Get the win, go home, come back next time and try to be yourself. Hey, right? You're right. I, I, I can say it like that, but fans, people, they like to see the knockout. Yeah. That was sales. That, that sells. We do too. Coming from a promoter's uh, <laughs> perspective, you know? There was a right hand that just got Escalera leaning a little bit. So far, Jack, I mean, he, he started a little bit slow, a little bit hesitant. First fight back after a devastating knockout loss. But I think, you know, the, as the rounds have gone, he, his confidence has grown. He's really worked off his jab really good, good combination. That, I like what I see him for, you know, coming up that knockout loss. I mean, when he, he got knocked out, you know, he says he wasn't hurt in the fire, but he, he was hurt, guys. <laughs> oh, he was hurt. He, was, yeah. he did say his legs weren't working. And it wasn't a flash knockdown either. They were, <laughs> no. But uh, so far, so good for uh, Mr. Badu Jack. That was a good double on cast. I think he's beginning to look more like the Badu Jack we know. Yeah, you push him down. You push his head down. The thing is, when he does open up in this fight, when he throws multiple shots and power shots, he's been very successful. Yeah. And he needs just that little more, you know, a little push. Put a little bit more hurt on Escalera. And Escalera, we should point out, never been down or stop. Just not not any offense of, of note from Escalera. No. Really, nothing working right now. Bottles made him miss a lot of punches, a lot of big punches. Of course, he, you know he sees them from all the way and he telegraphs a lot of punches. But pretty good defense by uh, Badu Jack. Yeah, he's not getting it. I think just that one short right hand for what well, round that was in. That was the only shot that we really got caught with. Solid. Time, time. Jay, now you got to come over his Well, jab. next Saturday night, goes, following the premiere of All Access, Mayweather Maidana 2, Episode 2. It's a dynamite triple header on Showtime Championship Boxing. In the main event, three-division champion Adrian Broner taking on Emmanuel Taylor. The co-feature pits Lucas Matisse against Roberto Ortiz. And to start things off, Andre Berto faces Steve Upshur. Don't forget, check out the preliminary fights on Show Extreme. Wraps to the body. He ain't moving as much as he was, Jake. You gotta work. You gotta let those hands go, right? Yep. On the inside, let those hands go to the body. When he lets that jab go, Jake, you gotta take away reaction from round seven. When he moves his hands, Jack's been very successful. You see nice short punches. Mixing it up, mixing the jab in in the middle of the combination, something a lot of fighters don't do. He looked good there. You just want to see more of it yep. as the fight progresses and he gets his confidence back. Okay. This is round eight of what we at this table feel is a shutout for Badu Jack. Up and down, man. Uh -huh. That left hook seems to be the punch for me that Jack could use more of. 
perhaps hurt Escalera with. He's, he's landing everything. Though. Yeah, he is. That's very nice. Every time a fighter does that one, two, three, four, four punch combination, then he finishes with a jab, jab. It really messes up his opponent, you know, the balance, you know. You like three or four versus combination, you jab in twice. I mean, everything is getting there now from Babu Jack. I mean, he's not trying to knock his man out with every shot either. It's just some shots he's just placing to score. Forty-nine percent total punches. That includes the jabs for Bad Dude Jack and a very low percentage for Escalera, which speaks a lot about both Escalera's offense, which is sort of predictable on Bad Dude sees all the punches coming, and it speaks also volumes about Jack's defensive abilities tonight. Yeah. 117 more punches landed. That's significant. I may regret saying this, but I'll say it anyway. Go ahead. I don't think the judges are going to see it any different. No. This one I feel pretty confident. Watch. Now we're doomed, Watch. Barry. Now we're doomed. Turn it right up. Turn it jab up. Turn it jab up. It's going right over the top. Get it, G. Now the jab. This may be Jack's best round. Shots are landing flush now. He's boxing beautifully in this round. A little bit of everything. Good speed, good range on his punches. Like just a little bit more snap, a little bit more power. And if uh, Jack does not stop Escalera, I think one of the main reasons will be because he hasn't been able to do a lot of body work. Hasn't softened this guy up downstairs. Yeah. When you're fighting from a distance and concentrating on the jab, that's going to happen. Oh, made him miss everything there. Good left hand there. That backed up Escalera. Very effective eighth round here for Badu Jack. His best round. Time, time. Well, coming up next, there's a look at Porky Medina. Rogelio is his proper name, but he prefers to be called Porky. It's because he was when he was a little kid. Not Porky now, though. <laughs> This is uh, super middleweight night on Showbox. We take a look at the uh, the top guys. What interests me about this is it doesn't look all that different a list, with the exception of Anthony Durrell, from the Super Six days when Andre Ward won the Super Six, Frotch was in the final, Abraham was there, Kessler was there. We're waiting for that next wave of guys, and that's the opportunity for Bad Dude Jack and Jay Leon Love. I would put Jay Leon Love right after these top ten, maybe 11 or 12, and. Uh, it's time for some fresh blood in this division. We'll yeah. see if we get it. Yeah, yeah, as we said, it's a division that really is evolving. And the three guys that we're watching tonight in, in separate fights, Badu Jack here being okay. one of them, uh, are at different stages, I think, of their progression. Jay Leon Love certainly ahead of the other two. And just outside that list, as you said. This is round nine. Absolute domination from Badu Jack in this fight. How dominant in round eight, Jack landed 69% of his punches. Pretty good. And Escalera. Wow. <laughs> Tough. Seven out of 81. The last round. Hey. That's I'm gonna get to 10. That's not gonna win you a lot of fights. No, right? If it's your batting average, you're getting sent to triple A. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, Badu Jack told us you're gonna see a different Badu Jack tonight. I think it's fair to say we have. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he's doing what he needs to do. This is not a scintillating performance, obviously, but uh, given where he was when he lost to Derek Edwards with one punch, remember, he was ready for a title eliminator if he beat Edwards. And we all thought he'd beat Edwards, let's face it. Yeah. So he fell very far, and you don't come back from that all in one night. 
Well, on top of that, he took six months off, so I think that helped. A lot of guys, they, you know, when they get knocked out like that, they might come in too soon, two or three months later, trying to prove something. He took six months off. He yeah. Was, he was still in the gym, learning. Stop! Working on different Break. things. Popping that jab and bringing it right back up. So he won't get countered like he did with Edwards. And looks like he worked on his defense, too. He's made the... Uh, Escalera missed a lot of punches. All right there, he got a four or five punch combination. All of them got there. Hey, look at that. Namaris got knocked out by Johnny Gonzalez, a tremendous puncher. And we didn't see him again for, what, a year? Yeah. Raul doesn't know about getting knocked out. He, he didn't have you know, to Never. I Great never chin. Got, Great chin. I stop, but I never got knocked out, thank God. And, and I'm here. Maybe that's the reason I'm here, because I never got knocked out. That's it. I got a good memory so far. None of us, none of us at this <laughs> table has ever been knocked out. <laughs> I did get a bad paper cut one time. <laughs> and you were such a baby. Uh, I know. It would hurt. <laughs> I have a cut, man. Now that, I had a lot of different cut bats. <laughs> I was a, I did cut. Uh, I don't see Escalera trying to do too much to change this fight. I don't think he's capable of changing his game much. Yeah, there he let a nice right hand go. Yeah, he actually has gotten in there a couple of times in this round, but even that, not enough to win the round, I don't think. Time, time! Nice round. That's round, Joey. I can see where a judge That's might round, give right? that round to Escalera. Gotta try for the knockout. He's gonna probably try to run around. You gotta try to yeah. you gotta try to time him as he's running around, try to nail him with the right hand, right? Alright, All right, you hear me? Last round. Hey, he's so far behind. This is where you really gotta keep your hands up and keep your focus. Understand what I'm saying? Just keep boxing. Hands up. This is the last box. round, round 10. Okay, last round. He's gonna come out crazy. I need you to stay focused and box. Side to side. Side to side. Right there. Yeah, I got it. You got, you got to knock him out this round, Jay. Put your punch together. You got to go for the knockout. Try to time with the right hand as he's stepping around you, right? Double up the hook's body head. Let those punches fly, baby. You can do it, Jay. A lot of pep talk in the corner of Jason Escalera. See what good it does. Badu Jack comes out and beats him with the right hand. Keep your hands up and side to side movement was the advice from Eddie Mustafa Mohammed. The tenth round is no time to try to be tricky or cute. No reason for Badu to take any risk. He's doing the same thing. And for Escalera, I'm going to recommend 10 days on a beach in the Caribbean. Yes, absolutely. He's earned it. He deserves it. Watch that overhand, Badu. Just threw that overhand. You saw Escalera, he threw that overhand and caught him, but wouldn't that be something? <laughs> yes. Those uh, three fights in six weeks for Escalera. First one was six rounds. Second one, eight. This one, ten. Yep. It's a heck of a lot of rounds. 24 rounds. Six weeks. Yeah. Not in the old days, of course, but... Well, that's what he was saying. He kind of fancied himself as a, as a throwback kind of guy. No, 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 no. Stop! Stop, still works Ow. full time. <laughs> Family guy, three month old daughter. Well, he was bullied by Edwin Rodriguez when he moved up, and as well as he's been doing the last couple of fights, this looks like a class that he's just not right. Doesn't belong. The game guy. Good chin. Technique a little bit lacking. Badu Jack's taking him to school. Yeah, it was, I mean, perfect comeback fight for Badu Jack. Yeah. He said, you know, uh, Escalera style was, was for him, and then he was right. Oh, nice. Uh -oh. Two right hands. 
Not too late, Badu. Stop. Kalena takes a good shot. Got a good chin. Yeah. Well, I guess the uh, overall theme of this fight is you can't get knocked out if you don't get hit. Well, there you are. Right. I like that for How's that for analysis? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Well, that's it. Fight's over, guys. And uh, complete performance for Badu Jack. It'll be interesting, I think, to see how the judges see this. I don't obviously think that they will see it. A whole lot different than the way we did. Yeah, I have it uh, shut out 100 to 90. That's what I have. You want to throw around in there somewhere for Escalera? Maybe, but. Nah. I got it. <laughs> Raul's tough. I got I'm sorry. <laughs> I got all of them. Yeah. All, everything for uh, bottom deck. Three veteran officials, as is usually the case here in Nevada. Yeah. Robert Hoyle, Ricardo Ocasio, and Jerry Roth, who's maybe the dean of all the yeah, officials. He did Holmes time. Cooney. That's right. You called it, so didn't you? Did yes. Yeah. Why am I saying he's old? <laughs> so it's in the books, and uh, Badu Jack will uh, have a redemption result, I'm quite sure. Workmanlike. Uh, that probably is the yeah. best way I can think of to describe it. And everything Raul said at the top of the show was so important. You know, would he be tentative? Would he look like he was a little hesitant to throw his punches? I think as the fight progressed, he, he answered in a good way. Uh, yes, yeah. He, I mean, it looked, at the beginning, it looked, yeah, a little bit, because he was, I think, running too much, but that's just his style. I mean, uh, Baru Jack is a safety first type of guy, but you, you're right, as the rounds went, three, four, five, he started getting busier. Let his combinations uh, flow, speed, power shots, good body shots, uppercuts. September Excellent job for me. Got the win. And speaking of uh, Mayweather fighters, Mickey Bay, on the Mayweather undercard, he'll be fighting the number one lightweight in the world, Miguel Vasquez, for a lightweight title. Mickey Bay, we're very familiar to us, to, uh, to us on Showbox. Yep. You know, and another guy who had to come back from a tough loss. Exactly. A different type of loss. Yes. He had a loss against John Molina where he won the first nine rounds and then got stopped. But it ought to tell Badu Jack something. I mean, look, he did it. Why can't I? Right. I suppose is what he's thinking. All right, let's uh, make it all official. It's in the hands of the judges. We'll find out how they see it as we go to the center of the ring. And Joe Martinez. Joe? Well, five fans, after ten rounds, we are set to go to the scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. Judges Robert Hoyle and Ricardo Ocasio reach the score 100 to 90. Judge Jerry Roth, 99 91. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Badu Jack the Ripper. Got to be a satisfying win for him. A uh, really tough night the last time we saw him, and uh, not so tonight. Yeah, a little bit different. Just yeah. a little bit different this yeah. time. Take a look at the final numbers uh, from Badu Jack's unanimous decision victory. Well, he was dominant with the jab, and God, Escalera, 404 jabs is quite a bit. He was throw, threw 40 around, but didn't land very many, and he didn't land very many of his power shots either, where Jack landed that huge nut percentage, 65%. And again, only thing missing from Badu Jack was the body punching, but uh, it was a to totally dominant performance. His boxing was uh, very good against a fighter who just simply doesn't have the skills to box with him. Right, and again, we will see him again. He runs his record to 17 up, one down with one draw, and uh, no question, he will uh, will be seen again and uh, took the first step toward uh, what has to be considered a comeback after that tough loss. Still to come here on Showbox, the new generation of the night, our main event undefeated Jay Leon Love and rugged Rogelio Porky Medina. They'll go at it in the scheduled 10 rounder. But before we get to that, let's take a look at what's on our sh sports palette here on Showtime. The seventh season of Inside the NFL kicks off Tuesday, September 2nd at 9 p.m. Former 12-year NFL veteran safety and nine-time Pro Bowler Ed Reed, current Chicago Bears wide receiver Brandon Marshall, and Boomer Esiason join Phil Simms as analysts, along with new host Greg Gumbel. That'll be followed by a whole new edition of 60 Minute Sports, where the first name in news magazines is now the last word in sports. 
On September 6th, it's the premiere of All Access, Mayweather versus Maidana 2, Episode 2. Get an inside look at the fighters, preparation, and build-up for their much-anticipated September 13th rematch. That'll be followed by a Showtime Championship triple header. In the main event, three-division champ Adrian Broner takes on Emmanuel Taylor. The co-feature pits Lucas Matisse against Roberto Ortiz. And to start things off, Andre Berto faces Steve Upshur. Don't forget to check out the preliminary fights on Show Extreme. A new episode of Jim Rome on Showtime debuts Tuesday, September 9th at 10. Everything's fair game, no topic too controversial, no opinion too outrageous. On Saturday, September 13th, the boxing starts on Showtime at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, with Mayweather versus Maidana 2, Countdown Live. Our analysts set the table for the big pay-per-view and whet your appetite with live boxing. And on Saturday, September 13th, live on Showtime pay-per-view, boxing's pound-for-pound -pound king, Floyd Mayweather returns to the ring to face Marcos Maidana in a rematch of their hotly contested fight of last May. The four-fight pay-per-view begins with Alfredo Angulo and James De La Rosa in a middleweight clash. Miguel Vasquez and Mickey Bay buy for the IBF Lightweight World Championship. And Leo Santa Cruz defends his WBC Super Bantamweight title against Manuel Roman. See it all live on Showtime pay-per-view beginning at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. For the complete slate of events and more on everything Showtime Sports, log on to our website, show.com forward slash sports. There you'll find exclusive stories, videos, stats, analysis, and our boxing blog, and more. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Well, on this night of the 168-pounders, we now focus on our main...